Hi guys! Happy New Year! I hope everyone had a wonderful holiday season and now we're in a new year. So just looking forward to a wonderful future. Just enjoying life. Just enjoying life. So I wish all the best for all of you um, in this coming new year. Well, not coming new year. We're already here <laughs> this year. So anyway, I decided to come on today to share a couple things that I've done. Or well, one thing that I've done. Um, share some things that I have. Just chit chat. And then I have a giveaway. Now, I meant to do this giveaway actually back in November. My birthday last year fell on Thanksgiving Day, which was November 28th. And I seriously meant to do um, a giveaway video then. But the holidays, you guys, you know what it's like. Just got too busy. And then work is extremely busy right now. So um, I missed that opportunity. And so my giveaway really is, I'll talk about it at the end really, but it's really to celebrate over 200 subscribers now. I meant to do it at the 200 mark, but now I have about 260 subscribers. So welcome guys and thank you so much for subscribing. I just want to show my appreciation for all that you all share and what we all share in common and um, the inspiration that you all give and I hope I'm just as inspiring to you even though sometimes I struggle at um, <laughs> still learning some of these wonderful techniques but it's so much fun so I just wanted to share something first of all I have a niece whose birthday is this week and this is my first tag so I made this little tag for her and instead of a card, now she's turning 14 and, you know, I think those in-between years of teenagers is so difficult to um, <laughs> make things for. You know, you wish they could stay little, but they don't. They grow up. But she's a wonderful young lady turning 14 years old. And so I wanted something that kind of represents her and... Um, yeah, just to celebrate her. So I made this tag. And this tag is made from one of these little doll stamps. So it's the doll stamp number one. Or, no, I'm sorry, it's one piece. I forget what this one is called. I don't know if each of them have a name or not. Um, I don't know if they each have a name. But there's a series of these. But this is the one that I thought most represented a 14-year-old. So I took this stamp and then of course colored it with my Copics to more represent her ethnically. Um, this is so cute. Then I did paper piecing for the little jacket and the little skirt using this paper from um, Michaels. This is just some of that paper that was in the uh, bin. Let's see, I think I got this back in the summer or spring. It's probably the spring uh, last year. Cute. I got it in blue, green, and pink. And uh, so I used some of the paper for the skirt, paper piecing it, and then uh, for the little jacket. Now, I'm sure most of you all know what paper piecing is, but if you don't, and if you want a tutorial on that, I would be happy to do that. Um, I meant to actually film this as I was doing it, but just totally didn't even think about it at the time. But anyway, the little tag, and what I did is took one of my, um, not Spellbinder, but one of my Stampin' Up! Um, die cuts to cut the top off here to make the tag design on the top. And then I just left the bottom plain. I think I might round the corners, though. But um, then I used a Sizzix folder, I think, there too. And this is a piece of vellum that I ran through the cuddle book, I mean the um, Sizzix folder. And then these are Sizzix cutouts that I have a long one that are cutting out design, these designs. And these are stamping up Sizzix dies. And so it had several designs, and this was the fourth design on that particular Sizzix die. And then I took my, uh, 
where's my little pin? Oh, here it is. The Jelly Roll Clear. Um, to give the little top here a little shine and then around the ruffles of the skirt and I don't think the camera is really picking that up I'm trying to turn it so you can really see how that shines a really cute shine on that and then the happy birthday sentiment here is um, dazzles from paperwishes.com and then the little dots here just to add some bling and leave it flat are the dazzles as well they're called jewel dazzles and they come in a variety of colors I think I have all the colors like blue silver gold pink green uh, silver you know just a lot of colors so that's the like pinkish color dazzles to give it some shine and then I did crystal accents on the shoes to give them a little dimension it's, kind of a little bit um, standing up or you know kind of add a little dimension there plus it makes them look patent leather then I did the same thing across the headband to uh, give that some dimension but I just love how this turned out for first tag I think it turned out wonderful and so all I'm going to do on the back is put a white piece there where I'm going to write and stamp the birthday sentiment so instead of a card she's getting the um, tag along with her gift so that is what I made in fact I worked on that New Year's Day afternoon <laughs> um, I chilled out on New Year's Day I mean I literally vegged out <laughs> I just needed it so I have something else to share with you guys so part of it's a rant but let me tell you why I have this I got this calendar um, now at work we're moving locations to a, a new facility and we're going from about 90% of the employees having private offices to a cube farm everyone will be in cubes except for the few senior 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 people managers or, or senior you know executives and uh, it's a very open, exposed environment. And my job is payroll manager and benefits. I also manage benefits. And uh, so I handle a lot of personal and highly confidential information. But I'm going to be sitting in a very open space and that makes me nervous. But anyway, it's not my problem because that's what I have to do. <laughs> But the thing is, our cubes cannot be overly decorated. We are told to keep decorating to a very minimum. So it's going to be very sparse. And so I figured, since I can't do much, what I will do will have an impact. So I found this calendar. It's at AC Moore. And the calendar literally costs about, I think, $16. I think it was $15.99. And when I saw it, I was like, I just have to have it. But I did have a either 50 or 55% off coupon. So this calendar has these gorgeous, colorful pictures. And that way, I'll be able to have a minimum of decoration. But it will definitely have an impact. And when I look at my calendar, I can think about not being at work. <laughs> And think about being in my sewing room or somewhere crafting but isn't that gorgeous it is so pretty each one is just bright and colorful and I love it so yeah it's minimal but it's gonna have a punch to it <laughs> I love it isn't that pretty Hope you can see that, but those are the cat. That's the calendar, and it came in a nice folder. I mean, I actually could hang this in my craft, in my sewing room, um, just to have something there. But that's going in my cube on the on the farm, <laughs> and this adorable. I love butterflies, and this was from Tuesday morning. And I think it only cost maybe two, three, four dollars, maybe at the most. 
and it can hang on a chain here as well as sit on the table of the you know the counter of my cube so it's a little bit dented on the corners here but it's just beautiful so that will be my minimal decoration something to inspire me so then the giveaway hopefully I can get through this um, in just a few minutes I don't have much time if you all remember I did give away in my last giveaway I did one of these and what this is is a proper hopper stamp organizing kit and what you get is these dividers I'm not going to take any of this out if you want to see uh, what all of this is how it's used and all of that just look back a few videos you'll see um, the let me pull this back a little bit so you can see better. You'll see that I've given this away. And I'm giving another one away. And the reason is, when I bought mine, I just went crazy. And I bought like seven of them. Well, I only have space for five, really. I, I'm going to keep six because I'm going to make room to put all six of them out. But on my bookshelf, that's actually right behind me, but you can't see it. On my bookshelf, I have three that are currently in use two of them are holding stamps that I have yet to put on my acrylic um, dividers but I will be organizing those and putting those out in in the box but there's still I don't have space to put all three of them out and then this made an extra one even at that and I do have another storage system for my cling stamps, which I will show you all this year. I mentioned that in my um, craft room tour. And I actually happen to like that system even better. This is nice for just quickly being able to thumb through your stamps and grab what you want and, and put it back. But honestly, the, this, um, the dividers don't hold all the stamps. Sometimes I find them falling off. So, um, it will hold many of them, but for some reason, some of the cling does not work well on the on this particular divider. So, I would say use them on the ones you can, and the, the stamps that are your go-to and that you use a lot, that's what I would put on these. That's kind of how I have mine. The ones that I go to a lot and use over and over again, I put them here so I can just thumb through them, pull out what I want, and go. So... I am giving this away, but I will be filling this with some other goodies. So I have a few. Here's one set of cling stamps that you can start your kit off with. These will cling on there just fine, I believe. Um, this type. So you would just take the back off, leave this front on, take the back off, and that way you can see what you have. Put that on your divider. Then I have some wooden stamps here that I had actually purchased double of. So I'm going to give these away. These are my doubles. This one here would make a nice spring or summer card. Here's another one. Nice for spring or summer. Beautiful ornate corner stamp. I love that. I have two of those and then here is one that I used this year for Christmas. I put inside some of my Christmas cards. So those will be in there. And then I'm going to drop a few things in the little bag here. I have some buttons. I have an overabundance of these particular buttons. They're Stampin' Up! buttons. And I've got tons. So I'm going to give share some of those. I have these stars that were a surplus from work. We had this little contest. And they're actually lapel pins. But what I did last year for my Christmas cards is I put, um, sorry, I put um, the crystal accents on these and then covered them with glitter. And I don't know if you can see it that well. Covered them with glitter. Oh, I don't know if it's showing up that well, but there. Oh, <laughs> try 
trying to get to the right place. See that? I think you can see it. But anyway, and then what I did is cut the back off with some wire cutters. Sorry. I just cut the back off so it would be flat. And I used it on my little Christmas tree. So that's how, sorry guys, that's how I used these stars. So it was a recycling of these stars that were in a contest that we did at work a few years back. I put 10 stars in there. Use however you see fit. I have some cute little bird charms. These are from Michaels. Those will be in there. These are keys from Michaels. Set of four. Two of them are pewter colored. Two are kind of brass colored. Those will be in the giveaway. And Michaels has this um, twine and it's 25 yards and it's nice uh, color too. The color is very rich. And I, I've gotten some twine before where the color was just kind of faded and not rich, but these are very nice. I'm putting red in because of Valentine's Day. So I'm sure you'll be able to get some use out of that for Valentine's Day. Last but not least is these are Teresa Collins Brads. And I'm sure you'll find some wonderful use for those um, with spring coming. So those little items will also be in the giveaway. And that's what I'm giving away this time. Now here are the requirements for the giveaway. First of all, you must be a subscriber to my channel. And now I'm going to make another requirement that may not seem fair. However, I want to give back to those who have given inspiration to me. And in saying that, what I would also like that you must be a subscriber, but you must be a subscriber that have some videos up. Because I would like to at least know that you're using them and sharing um, inspiration. Nothing more than inspiration with what you do. Now, some of you that have not put videos up yet, it may because maybe because you're shy and that's okay. But let me tell you, when I first started doing videos, I really didn't think I could even do it. Um, but I just decided to go for it, do it, be myself, and just do it and share what I know. I feel like if I'm looking in on other people's inspiration, that I should also share the same thing with others. So that's where I'm coming from. So I would like you to be a subscriber and also be someone who is actively doing videos. Even if you have one video up where you're sharing something that you've done or sharing how you've done something. I, I just think it's only fair. So I would like for you to be a subscriber and have actively have some videos up. I will need you to comment on the bottom that you would like to be a part of the giveaway. You can do a video response or you can mention your channel. Um, and I will drop in. If I'm not already a subscriber to your channel, I will subscribe just in return, but um, that's how this will work. So I will choose from those who have commented and have a video channel up. In other words, a channel showing videos of items you've either made or um, that you share a haul or something um, showing your inspiration or craft, um, you know, that you're crafting. Um, too many people subscribe just to get giveaways, and I don't think that's fair. I think we should all share and share alike, so that's why I'm making that specification. Um, so that is the only requirement that you comment below that you would like to be a part of the giveaway, and that you can, you can do a video response if you'd like, 
but that you actively have some videos up where you are showing some type of inspiration on something that you have made or that you're sharing that you have made or somehow that you're showing your crafting and showing and, and just sharing in your inspiration. That's all I'm saying is just to share. So anyway, that is the giveaway. I hope you all have a wonderful new year. Thank you all so much that are subscribers. And I ask that um, just keep it all coming. Keep it all coming. And I'll be back with more later. So talk to you guys later. Bye.